Magic is the authorship of cause and the influence upon energy and matter. Magic is the entering into communication as the means by which change is induced in conditions so that appearances may be called. Dear novice, I greet you. If you have been listening to the Keys of Magic series from the beginning, now is a good point for a review and integration of the many lessons you have been absorbing. First, I invite you to feel free to approach the world you now find yourself in as the magician. Understand the world as an illusory layer of appearances in which beings, you and me and our siblings, have arrived and met and participate in appearance, participate in magic. Understand this meeting as sacred. Understand your own power to participate in cause and to create world. Perhaps arrange your personal environment, your home or your room, as a peaceful space for your purification and magical practices. Take daily time to rest your senses. Take time to eat mildly and cleanly. Allow yourself to gradually release debris from your system so that you can eventually become an empty vessel for precision energy connection, flow, and aim. Walk in your village and in your life with the stance of the magician and the eye of the magician, trusting and neutral and receiving. Be aware of your hand and your voice as the hand and voice of the magician. Your stance, eye, hand, and voice are the foundation of your influence. Use your voice to greet those you encounter. As a novice, you are preparing to receive knowledge. That is, you are preparing to cultivate relationship, communication, energy sharing, and the understanding and setting of conditions, particularly regarding any art or affinity you may be emphasizing. Likely, at least one of those affinities will be the elements of which you have merely been introduced to at this point. That preparation for knowledge involves purification, the cultivation of trustworthiness, the giving of honor to your earth siblings and your mother earth, and the learning of language. In terms of learning language, you are at the beginning. You offer your greeting to any being in your path, and you may have offered a formal greeting and submission to the master of the art you have chosen. Otherwise, you are in a constant condition of hearing and observing so that beings themselves may teach you their language. Also, in your observatory stance, take note how constantly and all around you are change processes, i.e., the magical formulas that result in appearance. Second, I invite you to feel free to speak aloud any of the spells I have taught you along the way. Speak them at any time and maybe several times a day. I will repeat them here for a reminder. I walk with care and delight. I bless and am blessed. I am safe, loved, worthy, powerful, and joyful. I accept my power to cause within the world. I am willing to be taught. Mother Earth, I remember myself as your child, and I remember all your children. 
and the spell to assist you in purification, speaking to yourself and your body. I trust you, and you trust me. I invite you to become free. Thirdly, consider reviewing videos from the beginning again, one at a time. You may get more out of the keys now from the perspective of have, ha having had further revelations. Looking forward to future videos and lessons, I will continue to address the novice magician and teach an unfolding path of magical dedication. I will present to you themes of purification, practice, principles, and powers. If you have been listening to the entire series, we've covered a lot so far, but really, we've just begun. Let's meet again next time.